Well, they finally released footage of Records Mode, to which I say, took them long enough. I'm gonna try to keep this one short and sweet. For the most part, I like what I saw. I think I prefer a lot of what I saw here over Romance Mode, but I also see some potential problems too. So if you'd be inclined for a tad longer to listen to my musings, I'll carry on. For those who don't know, the basic gist of Records Mode is that it's a more down-to-earth version of the game, much more similar to traditional Total War games like Rome 2 and Attila. Here's some of the changes they mentioned and showed off in the battle we saw. Heroes have bodyguard units. This is the one thing we've known for a long time before, so this wasn't really new information, but we did get to see them in action. Believe it or not, I actually prefer the single entity heroes over this in this game. Mostly for reasons like, when I think of Lu Bu, I think of just Lu Bu, and not the 50 other guys who always followed him around. That being said, I can easily understand why people would prefer bodyguards for the generals, and they look to be impactful on the battlefield but not utterly overpowered. As we can see, Gansun Zan was broken by a spear unit on the field of all things. Unit fatigue plays a major role in the combat effectiveness of troops. I like this a lot. It's reminiscent of how the older Total Wars played, where fatigue could rarely impact your army's effectiveness. We do see that factor into the battle pretty heavily. The whole thing was a lot slower and a lot more tactical oriented. Both the player and presumably the AI was taking care to not tire out their army too quickly. It evokes some fond memories of Medieval 2, for example, where army fatigue could be a real detriment if it occurred too early in the battle. Tactical maneuvers have a greater importance as well. The battle put a greater emphasis on tactical maneuvers such as attempting to block choke points, correctly positioning missile troops, causing distractions in the rear of the enemy army, and conserving troops whenever possible. The whole thing looked very different from a lot of what we've seen of Romance Mode, where barreling headfirst into the opponent seems to be the way a lot of battles play out in that mode. This is something I like quite a bit. After all, one of the highlights about the Three Kingdoms period, and one of the fundamentals of ancient Chinese warfare in general, is the importance of tactics, both large and small. There's a reason that we remember famous strategic minds like Zhou Yu, Lu Meng, Sima Yi, Guo Jia et al, as well as particularly crafty generals like Zhang He and Xia Hu Yuan, and so forth. It's because both records of the Three Kingdoms and the novel put a tremendous emphasis on measuring many of these generals' worths by their tactical prowess. So a game that reflects this, at least to some degree, makes me happy, even if it's not to the highest degree it could be. I also can't help but be skeptical though, because some elements of this battle did seem rather scripted. Maybe it's just the fancy camera tricks they did, but I also can't help but think, is it really going to be this way, or are they just cherry picking and showing me what they want me to think it is? And lastly, not exactly a feature of the mode, but it was good to see, was them directly commenting on a bug that is known about and they're trying to fix. I wasn't born yesterday. I know they only made a point to mention it because of the backlash there's been about bugs overall. But it was still just nice to hear them address it honestly. Even if you have no faith in CA, it at least gives the illusion that they care about this game and want it to turn out well. And I honestly believe they do. Now, let's talk about some issues I see and some potential problems as well. First, right off the bat, the AI seems better, but still very lackluster. It started off well enough, it tried to defend only the points of entry that were directly threatened, and while most of the units broke very quickly because they were low quality, a few of them did fight to almost the bitter end, but then things start to fall apart quickly. Ma Chao is on his way with reinforcements, and he's certainly taken his damn sweet time for one thing. Also. He didn't march his army there with any kind of cohesion. With all the time he took, I'd at least expect him to have some type of formation. I and I don't know, protect his squishy missile units? As we see here, the only reason the player's flank was even able to work was because Ma Chao left his units totally open as they marched in the most bizarre, disorganized way possible. Listen guys, I know Ma Chao was in reality a brutal firebrand murderous tyrant, but he, he wasn't that dumb. Also, as we see the AI start to commit forces to the fight, they clumped up their army quite a bit. Like here, for example. 
What are they even doing, hugging the cliff like that? Guys, you can spread out a little this room. All that's going on is Ma Chao has half his actual units here committed, while the rest are basically tiring themselves out doing nothing and being ineffective. A lot of the improvement we saw in the AI probably has a lot to do with the slower battle in general. It seems like Ma Chao actually made the attempt to take it at a good pace and think its way to victory. He failed spectacularly, but he tried and he gets a gold star for effort. Overall though, as a whole, I liked what I saw here much more than I expected, and I think the game actually looks a little better. It made me like it enough to actually want to make a video talking about it, so I guess that says something. The truth is, for me at least, my ideal game lies somewhere in between records and romance mode. Slower battles with a focus on tactics and the need to conserve your army's energy, while also having spectacular looking single combat duels and seeing the legendary heroes I know and love commit feats of valor and deeds of glory without a little entourage doing all the work for them. Forgive the phrasing, but it's a lot more romantic to see Lu Bu kill 50 guys than see Lu Bu's bodyguard of 50 kill 120. And I'm not saying records mode should be that way at all. I see the merit of the bodyguards, I see why people want them, and as someone who's played Total War for a very long time, it's familiar territory to me and I have no issues with it. I just prefer it the other way for this game in particular. So I'm hoping with the wonderful modders out there, we will inevitably get the Romance of the Records of the Three Kingdoms mod that takes the best of both and combines them together, but only history will tell on that one. Anyway guys, that's all the time I got for today, but tell me what you think. What do you like about Records Mode? What do you dislike? And do you think it's gonna be better or worse than Romance Mode in the long run? 